Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We just left TF29, and as soon as we did... I see. You seem confused. <laughs> you might want to go over there where the explosion is. Uh, yeah, as soon as we left the place, explosion happened over there. You can see smoke. Let's go investigate. Hmm. I guess this is probably not the way to go. But I can make it work. Are you blind? Standing oh. Stanix place. Stanic is the person that I'm supposed to go investigate to follow up on um, who made the bomb for the Ruzga station. Remember, Stanix watches. They're suspected to be the ones that made the timing mechanism, which was fully mechanical, not electronic at all. Someone is covering up evidence. It's very coincidental, though, that almost as soon as we learned about Stanic, this place gets blown up. We have a leak. that what happened you must have upset someone Ogs, devouri who knows but uh, buildings don't just spontaneously erupt into flames there's always a reason I'm looking for nomad stanic I'm sure you are so uh, is this official <laughs> I knew the old man's past would finally catch up with you who are you with local national I want to ask him a few questions. Oh, sure you do. Sure you do. Just picking an old clockmaker's brain, right? You found a watch and you want to know what it's worth. Let me guess. It's your hobby, right? Right. Anyway, you won't find him in that ruin. He must have fallen behind on his payments. Did you see what happened to the shop? I see everything. And what happened? This little accident is clearly a message to no man. When you borrow money, pay it back. Was he having money problems? If you're borrowing money from the Dvali, you have money problems. I, I doubt it was simply a money problem. The timing's way too much of a coincidence. You said something about his past finally catching up with him. Playing dumb, hmm? As if you don't already know all of this. The demonstrations, the sabotage, they used to call it activism. Now they call it terrorism. What was he protesting? Everything. Anti-globalization, the oil industry, boycotts, sit-ins. A real agitator. Any idea where I can find him? Oh, well. Prague's a big city. Might be anywhere. Guy could spend days searching if he didn't have a solid lead. Yeah, I see where this is going. Listen, I'm providing a service here. It's only right I get compensated. You know what I mean? Persuade? I can give them alcohol to persuade them? Hmm. Alright. This is important, sir. I need to find Stanek before something bad happens. Are you threatening me? You can't go around threatening people just because... I'm an influential guy around here. I know a lot of sensitive information. I can tell. Someone like you knows everything that happens in the area, don't they? Fingers on the pulse of the city, right? Exactly. People need to know. They come to me. 
And they treat me with the respect I deserve, know what I mean? Well, I need your help. Couldn't do it without you. I can't go into details, but you'd be doing a huge service to the city. Maybe even the world. The world, huh? I knew it! I knew I'd hit on something eventually. The Stanex hold up in a small bar in the red light district, across the street from the Red Queen. The Red Queen, got it. Smiley, Stanek's shop was torched. Dead end? No. I spoke to a local who says that Stanek went to a bar in the red light district, across from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. <laughs> Just for fun. So, uh, they're gonna get angry if I do this, right? Oh, oh, yep. Yep, they do not like that. Oh my god, there's so much noise here. Silence. Quietness. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, much better. I feel like such a dick. I mean, I have so much money and I don't even know where to spend it all. I should just give them the 2000 but, you know, I have that social enhancer thing, so I feel like I should use it. I really don't like how they've executed that social enhancement thing. It really totally takes away your ability to like roleplay and be the character you want to be. If you want to use it, that is. There's a couple places I want to check after the stuff we read in TF29, hacking everybody's computers. I remember one of them mentioned Sobchak security and being very suspicious about them maybe having ties to, I don't remember exactly what, maybe Diwali or terrorism or something. Let's check them out, because I don't remember if I've been there before. Just up the street a little bit. Oh, what's that? Nothing suspicious here. HMFC Heavy Metal Fighting Championship. Chubb versus Butch. Wouldn't treat a dog like that. Yeah, here it is. So Yeah, place is closed at this time. I guess probably most shops are closed. It's gonna be a pretty good time to Heck into places, huh? Oh, whoa, look at that. Okay, it doesn't exactly hold up that well if you zoom in kind of close like this. But if you zoom out, it looks really pretty. The rest of the city all lit up. Boats going past. And that's... That there, that's that weird thing that we saw. Remember that model in that kind of abandoned underground uh, information center? Yeah, it's like that. It looks sort of like... It is nice, isn't it? It looks sort of like Sorry? a bridge. The view. The water. I like to come here when it is quiet and listen to the waves splashing against the wall. Very relaxing. I guess it is. I had not really noticed. What the fuck? Ne obtěžujte mě. Someone's got the munchies. <laughs> anyway, they're on a date. Are you from here? I love the way the streets are lit up and the blade spanning across the river. Wonderful. The blade. What is it though? Like, do people live in there or something? Are there offices? It's amazing that the thing can stand at all. There's nothing supporting it on this side. Great, a clank. Anyway. Hele, nechci žádný potíže. Prostě mě nechte dělat svou práci. Slyšeli jste správně? Thing's gonna see me if I try to hack into that place. Oh, it's moving really. Ah, oh, it moves so fast. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Okay. 
should probably try to get to a security computer. Oh. Oh. Hello. I don't see any security computer. Camera's not going to see me here, is it? Nope. Aurelius, got your latest order. You should have all of it by the end of the week, except for the Scott Robertson. This is some seriously avant-garde spy gear, and it's going to take me an extra week to get for you. Once again, I'm impressed. I do not say this to all my customers, since most of them cater to the Bond wannabe crowd. But you are a true pleasure to do business with. Even your weird convoluted payment method is part of it. You really live this stuff. Till next time, Gary, Mirror Scan Technologies. Hmm. Sounds like the TV's on, even though it's not. Okay. Wait, you're just a random civilian? Uh, what the hell are you doing down here? Who are you? Not disturbed. So tired. Okay. What did I just turn off? Oh, I guess the lasers. Uh, there really is no security computer, is there? Chill, you're fine. You're tired, go to sleep. I didn't see anything. Oh, newspapers changed. This is Pika's Daily. Crucial evidence missing. <laughs> that would be because of us. The Czech state police are under fire again, this time for misplacing crucial evidence related to the Ruzika train station bombing. The evidence, a digital storage device containing 3D scans of the debris field, had been obtained by forensic investigators working the crime scene. They only noticed it missing after Interpol, Interpol asked them to transfer the device to a downtown lab for more thorough analysis. Police spokesman Alexa Volner told reporters that he believes the person or persons who stole the device may be working with augmented terrorists. He has no proof for this theory, however, and could be looking to deflect attention from his own department's negligence. This marks the fourth time this year, the second time this week, that corruption charges are being leveled at the state police. The mayor of Prague could not be reached for comment. Augmented reporter found murdered. State police are investigating a grisly murder in Prague's district tonight. Local augmented reporter Angela Gunn, best known for a number of well-received political exposés, was found dismembered in an alley. Oh, shit. Citizens are reminded to be vigilant to remain in secure, well-lit areas at night. Oh. I wonder if that's something I can find. Like, can I find the crime scene and do anything about that, or...? It says it's this district.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Tarvos Vault Keycard. That's the second Vault Keycard I've gotten for the bank. Ooh, it's even a story item. Tarvos Vault within the Palisade Property Bank. And then a multi-tool that I can barely reach. There we go. I'm not sure if that panel right there turns it off or not. I wish I could remotely control those electricity panels. That'd be cool. Let's see what's this way. Am I? Oh, it led to Hemingway's fine spirits. Huh. We crossed the street. Underground. Well, I actually kind of wanted to come here anyway, so... Cool. Triggered an alarm. Um, hmm. I think we have some attention. <laughs> Whoa, God, okay. I'm out. See ya. Wow, holy shit. They're now surrounding the place. I think I'm gonna uh, wait a second. Okay, they're like halfway done searching and they've kind of spread out. Sort of, and they're not really coming down, down, so uh, I think we're good to continue. Regarding inheritance, yeah, an old woman with a Cadillac, a Cadillac on each foot, and her own business. That's a hell of a lot more than I got, Alma. My heart bleeds. As a matter of fact, I did find something, but I wanted to follow up on it before I got back to you, but. Well, you don't walk into a place like the Palisade Bank looking the way I do. Seems 6641 is a code to a safe at the bank. It's in room B, row 01. Guessing that's where your inheritance is. Uh, doo -doo -doo. After digging my way through dear old granny's boxes of musty old shit for three days and choking on dust from the 20th century, I'd say I'm ready for my 15%. Please, no need to thank me. Your charitable smile is more than enough to get me by until the check arrives. Whoops, I think I've already stolen it. Oh, and that was a reply to this. Any luck tracing that number my grandmother left in her will? What's taking so long, etc., etc. Okay. Even wait, even in death that accursed woman continues to torment me with her stupid games. Existing restricted zone? Is this place actually open? No, it wasn't open, but yeah, this is not restricted right here. It's super pretty in here. Got grapes on the walls. Oh. Got the password. Fervent6.
Oh, we saw this email on the other side. This is uh, Mrs. Thomas Eck. I see that there's another two cases rising here for you waiting a delivery. We have yet to receive payment on the last consignment, etc., etc. This is the reply. Uh, please forgive me. I have not been feeling well lately, and it completely slipped my mind. I can assure you I'm not selling the wine. Whatever gave you that idea? I will get the money to you soon. Ms. Capis, it has been brought to our attention that you may be in a violation of criminal codes, blah, 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 possession of false identity records, counterfeit augmentation licenses. While you are not under technical arrest at this time, please be advised that you are not permitted to leave Prague or its environs until this matter is resolved. An officer from the Department of Registries will be in touch shortly to schedule an interview. Yeah, that's a response to that one person. Remember we found some information where they... I think they were fired from this place by the owner, this person, for being lazy as hell. They kept calling out sick, even though they weren't. And then afterwards, probably just, um, probably because they were bitter, they, uh, reported them to the police for, well, this, false identity records, counterfeit augmentation licenses. It's cool that all that stuff links up, right? Like, you see it on one person's end, and then once you go to the other end, you find more of it. Let's check out a couple more stores that I'm not sure we've been to. I don't know if I just didn't go there or they weren't really open at the time and they didn't show up on the map. I'm not sure which one. But we've got Lacarna Pharmacy and Cigar Lounge. Next to the Limb Clinic. Normally I cut out my running back and forth, but since everything looks different now that this place is at nighttime, I figured I should probably show it. Uh, this is it, right? Yeah. Here's the pharmacy. Is it closed? Nope, it's open. A <laughs> customer, right? Over here. What you need? What do you want? Hypostims? Pick up a prescription? If you want Mikel or the doctor, they're not here. Who is Mikhail? My nephew. He works here as an assistant, but he didn't show up for work today. His apartment is just across the street. Would it have killed him to let me know he can't come in? Probably not. Especially since you seem like such an approachable boss. Did you come here for something? <laughs> they don't appreciate my sass. Well, I should go check out the apartment across the street. This place has a doctor. Oh yes, Dr. Sipra, Mr. Big Shot from Tai Young. Who thinks he's too good for a place like this? Tai Young. What did he do for them? <laughs> he calls it experimental neurotherapy. If he's so good, how come his patient ran away and he can't find her? What does an experimental neurotherapist do exactly? He is vague about it, and I don't care enough to ask. You want something else? That doctor, I don't remember their name, but we have it somewhere in our files from that other doctor that we found murdered in their apartment. The person who probably worked on, on me is probably responsible for Adam's experimental logs. Because they mentioned um, a uh, test subject that was a her that ran away and they're tracking him. I'll be going. Do what you want. Yoink. No big deal. Password reset request. Owning the devil. They really don't mind that I'm doing this. And this area isn't even restricted? Okay, cool. Security rating 5. So is this like one of those shop living places combos? Right? Shops downstairs and then you like live upstairs. I don't know if there's a name for those. Yeah, looks like it. Already read it. Cemetery. 
Kazoo Symphony in C major. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, beautiful. From Tai Young Market? Nicholas, we're so glad that you're part of the Tai Young family again. If you want to remain part of the family, you will clean up your damn mess. Make no mistake. D. Oh, make no mistake, D is your responsibility. If anyone ever finds out what or why she is, you and you alone will be the one to pay for it. Find her. Could D be Dr. Dalara Azane? Dalara? I'm guessing this just leads up here. Oh, wow, there's gas. Yep. Oh, whoa. Six neuropazine? Jackpot. Painkillers, three biocells? Holy crap. Thanks, vendor. Ah, customer, right? Over here. Yeah, <laughs> customer. Hello, <laughs> sir. Okay, so we have another place right over here, right? Uh, yeah, the cigar lounge. Let's go check them out. Oh, I guess this will be. Yeah, this will be us, like, officially entering the red light district. Wow, this place just lights up at night. They go all out with the advertisements. Uh, oh, here we go. Cigar lounge. Welcome to my place. Didn't expect to see one of you in here. Not today. You know, with all the trouble. We're not gonna have a problem, are we? No, no. Uh, I don't share the sentiment of the ruling class. Just commenting on current events, you know? About the happening in Golms. I mean... Utelek. So, what can I get you? What have you got? I've got Surly Welshman and Nice Rai. Nothing, thanks. Suit yourself. What are you waiting for? Just keep your eyes open. I was hoping they'd have something special. More than just alcohol. Go ahead. Take a look. Good glasses. Thank you. Oh, you're named. Don't start no trouble in here, okay? No, that says anyone starts I trouble, I have to take care office. of it. Guess they're the bouncer. I, picture, but it's good. I really One want into this private club. You and no one will care. Take a seat if you like. Also, I think Frank just said one day I'll shoot you and no one will care. Thanks. Appreciate it. I wonder about this abandoned store. There's probably a back way into the private lounge. Also, I forgot to do something. The nameless. Um, the pharmacy. They said the person that wasn't coming in for work was in the apartment right across the street. I don't see any super obvious apartment. Uh, that's the apartment I've already been. That's just the upstairs of that place. But I did just jump up here and I see this. Could this be what they're talking about? That's an open place. Who has the radio and the TV on at the same time? What is wrong with people? 
It's like everybody just needs overstimulation all the time. Oh, come on. There we go. Mike, you were right. I think this landlord and yours must be cousins or something. I took the place, of course. He knew I had no choice, but there's not even a shower in this dump. I asked him how I was supposed to wash myself. You have a sink, he said. Asshole. Mickey, I'm at the Astro Place and there are some angry looking antis outside who look like trouble. It might be nothing, but I think people around here are starting to get angry about what we're doing. I know you're starting work soon, but can you come and make sure everything's okay? Thanks, and sorry. Oh, maybe this is the apartment. Starting work soon, but can you come and make sure everything's okay? That would explain why they didn't show up. Uh, the Astra place. Astra, I've seen that. Actually, I can't find it on the map. Maybe, yeah, I guess Ad Astra isn't a place that I've seen, but it's simply a name I'm familiar with. Ad Astra. That's the, um... That was the support group, right? The people supporting, like, the integration of augmented people into non-augmented society, some sort of a support group thing. I thought they met at, like, an apartment building or something. Maybe that was back where Adam's apartment is. I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return gonna explore a little bit more of what's changed around this place now that it's nighttime and then I think we're finally gonna head to the red light district and Diwali territory.